did you know that every year in the Netherlands alone, one in a hundred people are diagnosed with cancer? And that one in three don't survive? That's 50,000 deaths, equivalent to every visitor to the music festival Lowlands dying every year. My name is Yoni, and I wish for everyone everywhere to have a long and healthy life. Together with researchers from the University of Amsterdam and doctors from the Netherlands Cancer Institute, we develop and implement artificial intelligence models to improve cancer patient care. Although standard treatments like chemo and radiotherapy work for some, they unfortunately don't work for all, and they often cause nasty side effects. But luckily, for some patients, their chance of survival can be much higher using something called immunotherapy. This activates the patient's own immune system to attack the tumor cells and has very few side effects. But the treatment is expensive and still doesn't work for everyone. And at the moment, it's difficult to know for sure which patient would benefit. And it requires costly and imperfect additional tests. But we think we don't need additional tests because what's done in every hospital already is to remove part of the tumor in surgery to look at a very thin slice of the tumor under the microscope, which looks like this. And we believe that we can see from the positions and shape of different types of cells in an image like this, if the tumor would respond to immunotherapy. But we don't yet know how we can recognize this because as you can see, when we zoom out, there's an overwhelming number of cells to look at, even for one patient. But artificial intelligence can help us find the patterns that predict which patient would benefit from immunotherapy. I understand that artificial intelligence sometimes sounds a bit like magic, but really it's an algorithm that can look at all the cells of many, many patients of whom we know if immune therapy worked or didn't work. And then it learns to recognize which type of cells in these images are related to a good response. Using these learned patterns, we can then let the algorithm analyze a new image of a new patient from anywhere in the world and quickly and cheaply predict if the patient would benefit. As a result of our research so far, we've already gotten better at recognizing elements of the cancer DNA in this type of image that we know are related to immune therapy response. And the next step is to make these models even smarter and to test how well the predictions work for hospitalized patients all over the world. And by continuing this research hand in hand with doctors, we strongly believe that in the near future, our methods can be used every day by doctors worldwide to make better treatment decisions quicker. And with the best possible treatment, many of those low lens visitors get to enjoy this festival called life for many more years. Thank you.